Hi everyone. So today in this video, we are going to see how to build the Cucumber BDD framework on Selenium with Java. Okay, by using the page object model in page factory design method. Okay. So we'll start from the scratch. So these are the preconditions. We are going to do the uh, all the setup step by step that I have listed here. So the very first thing is uh, make sure when you have any IDE like Eclipse or IntelliJ, right? The very first thing you have to do installation of Cucumber plugin. Okay. So if you if you, you are using as an Eclipse, so just go to the marketplace. If you are using as an IntelliJ, you can go to the file menu under the settings. Uh, you can you will find as a plugin. In the plugin, you have to type the keyword called Cucumber. So you will get the Cucumber plugin. Okay. In case uh, if you are using as an Eclipse, so you have to go to the marketplace in the help menu. So once you go there, you just type like a cucumber keyword here and click on enter. Okay. So as soon as you get the enter, you will get this uh, cucumber eclipse plugin. I have installed already. Okay. In this case, if it is asking to install, once you install, it will ask you to restart your IDE. I mean, which is eclipse. So once that is done, that is a precondition. Okay. So that you have to done as a part of precondition. So next one we are going to create as a Maven project. In the Maven, what kind of project type, archetype you have to select, and what are the dependencies we are going to add now? Okay, so I'm going here, and I'm going to create a new project. Okay, so make sure in the project you will see this Maven folder. So under this Maven folder, you select, just select this uh, Maven project. Okay, so after this, uh, you can create uh, by skipping this archetype selection. But if you want to select, I mean, if you want to create as a Maven archetype by using this uh, uh, quick start architect type, then you can click on the next button. So in the filter, just type Apache dot Maven. Okay. So as soon as you type here, you will get the Apache Maven archetype programs here. So we can select the archetype which we want to go for it. Okay. So this is the one we are going to select, which is Maven archetype as a quick start. And just simply click on the next button. So here it will ask you the group ID, artifact ID. Group ID can be anything. Uh, artifact ID is, it's, it's a kind of like you can give it a sort of project name, right? So the group ID can be your company name or something like that. So in our case, I'm going to use this as uh, Cucumber Hybrid uh, Framework. Okay. And I'm going to give the same name for the artifact ID also. And I'm going to click on the finish button now. So now we can see in the console it is scanning the project and it is downloading all the dependencies that is required from the Maven. So once this is done, uh, if you are using the most recent Eclipse and if you are, if you are creating this one, so you will be getting this kind of like where you create some node project and all, right? So it will ask you to create the project name. Uh, you have to click on yes, something, author name, right? Similarly, here also it is asking for Y here. So Y means nothing yes. So when you click on Y and when you click on enter now, the build is success. Now, now we can see the project name is coming here. Okay. So now after creating the project, so you can go here. Uh, so we have created a Maven Quick Start Archetype Program, I mean project. So after that, we have to add the required dependencies, right? So what are the differences? I mean, dependencies we have to add. So you just, just go to the form.xml. Okay. So when you create the Maven archetype, um, I mean, uh, quick start program, so you will be getting all the details related to build your plugin management, everything will be created. Okay. So when you skip this option, if you are just, uh, I mean, uh, in the, in the, in the project creation, right? So if you skip this option, then you will not, you will not have this build or not. You have to manually create it. Okay. So that is the only thing. Uh, and here you can see what are the group ID, what is the artifact ID and what is the, I mean, project name, everything is coming here. And I'm going to add the required dependencies. So dependencies, I mean, uh, in our previous video, we have already added all the Cucumber related dependencies and Selenium dependency also, which is available as a handy in my project. I'm going to take those things. Okay. So these are the dependencies that is required. So which is uh, Cucumber, Cucumber JUnit, Cucumber Core, and Selenium and Cucumber test ng and Cucumber reporting and working. Okay. So these are the dependencies. I'm going to save the project. Okay. Now all the dependencies will be downloaded under the Maven dependencies. Okay. So everything is not downloaded. So we have done this setup. So after that, we have to create the folders, right? So after that, I mean, uh, by default, when you create a Maven project, so you will be getting this kind of only two 
uh, folder, which is source folder. Right? So additionally, we want to maintain some test data, some config files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one SRC test resource source folder. Okay. So under the project, I'm going to create one new source folder. Okay. Why we are creating the source folder in the sense, like for example, we have we have to maintain this config dot properties and property util reader, right? So if you want to uh, have your feature file created, right? So all the feature files will be maintained under the SRC test resources. Okay, so that's the reason we have created this source folder. So under this, uh, I'm going to have two folders. One is for the features because this is where we are going to maintain our feature files, and the next one is. Our config files. Okay, I'm just giving us a config as a name. So these are the two folders. So under this config, okay, this step is done, right? And in the future folder and create step dependencies. Okay. So now let, let's go here. I'm going to create one config file. So config dot So here, what, what properties we can have in the sense. So for example, if you are going to define the browser name or URL or environment variables, anything can, you can, you can mention here. So I'm just going to have as a browser name. Okay. So the browser name, I'm going to use it as a clone. Okay. And the URL, I'm going to use this uh, orange uh, demo or in the charm live website. So I'm going to have that URL here. Okay. So only these two things I have, maybe I can use the username password that we'll see as a part of uh, data tables that comes under the feature file. Okay. So this setup is done. And uh, now we are going to create one feature. Okay. So under this feature, I'm going to create one more file. Um, so, I mean, uh, I'm going to take um, one of the example, this orange demo HRM application, right? So you might have seen this application is being used across uh, most of the use cases. So I'm going to take that one for our use case as well. Okay. So in that, uh, okay, let me log into that application first. Okay, this is the application I'm going to log in here and we will see We'll take some features, like for example, let's go to admin page. Okay, and I'm going to enter the name called admin here, and I'm going to click on the search button. I want to see the results are coming as admin in the user. Role. Okay, this is a user case, I mean, use case uh, that we will go to. I mean, we'll do the automation for this. Okay, so for first thing, uh, we have to create one feature file. So the feature file name, I'm going to have it as a uh, 01. Search user. Okay, dot feature. Okay, so now the feature file is created. I'm going to delete this default one and I'm going to have this name future as a user search function. Okay, so after creating the feature file, we have to create the scenarios. Okay, in the scenario, or we can use the scenario outline also. So in the scenario outline, again, the scenario name will be search user. Okay. And we are going to create the keywords that is a given, the given I log into the application uh, with below details. Okay. So below details, in sense, we are going to have as a data table. So in the data table, I'm going to give it a user name and password. Okay, the username is admin and the password is admin. Okay, and we will do the format here. Okay, so after logging, uh, I want to go to this particular page, which is admin page. So I have to go here. Uh, I'm going to have this navigate to admin page. Okay, and I navigate to admin page. 
So after going to the admin page, then I have to click the enter keyword called admin, right? So I search for the keyword or uh, search for the username. Okay, this one I'm going to have it as a parameter in the data table. Sorry, uh, in the examples. So username. And I validate the search results uh, only. So in the search results, I have to see only this particular username is coming in the search results or not. Okay. So I'm going to have the examples now. So in the examples, I'm passing this keyword called username. Okay, this username I'm expecting it has to come as admin. Okay, so that is what we are doing the search here, right? So when I when I go here and when I type as an admin here, and when I click on the search button, in the search results I have to see the user role as coming as an admin. Okay, it is in the capital letter, so we can have it as a capital letter also. Okay, so this is what my simple feature file. So right after creating the feature file, what we have to do, we have to create the step definitions. So if you want to create the step definitions, then what we have to do, we have to run this to get the snippets of this. Otherwise, what we can do, we can create the folder structure. So this is a default packages that's being created. I'm going to delete those. Okay. Now under SRC test, the first thing I'm going to create the package called step definitions. definitions okay. so this is a one feature i mean one one package uh, for maintaining our all step definitions file right so similarly uh, we have to have the page classes so that i'm going to maintain in the src main so here i'm going to have the package name as pages okay and we have to have the runner class so runner class also i'm going to create the package so here i'm going to give us a runner Okay. So apart from this, so these are the things, I mean, uh, very straightforward and, and mandatory one. Now, additionally, what we have, so we have created the test, I mean, uh, test runner package, and we have created the feature files, and we have created the package for step definitions, and we have created for the page class as well, right? So we have something like a config that we have to read now. So for config, Let's go here. Uh, we have a config properties uh, that is coming from here, right? So to, to read this all kind of things, I'm going to have one more package called utils, which is kind of like a, some common used or reused methods that will support our plugin, I mean, our project, so utils. Okay, so now this is done. Uh, and what else we can do? Okay, now let's go and build the runner class. I'm going to create one runner class here. So by the name of a test runner, finish. Okay. So in the test runner, what we have to provide, we have to provide the cucumber run options and cucumber run with everything. Right. So here, the first thing, run with cucumber. Dot class. Okay. So after this, we are going to use Cucumber run options, Cucumber options. So in the options, we have to use a lot of plugins. So I mean, a lot of plugins in the sense, uh, we have to define where is our feature file is coming. So our feature file location is here, correct? So this particular folder, I'm going to take this. So you can have it from SRC test itself. Okay. So after this, we have to use the glue which is pointing to our step definitions. So in the step definitions, this is my step definition folder. So you can directly give like this. Okay, this is fine. So after step definition, so we have a lot of things like a try run option is there, which is uh, you can have it as a false by default. So dry run is nothing uh, to check all the step definition. I mean, all the feature file line has the 11 step definition is implemented or not. Okay, so monochrome is nothing. Uh, to, to print any um, 
anything that is non readable format like a junk character now that will give you a human readable format which is called uh, monochrome okay. so after this so we can go for a plugin in a later so this is a basic one, okay so now when i run this so it is going to generate the step definitions okay if i go to jnut here okay so these are the details that is missing so let me run it from the cucumber feature file to copy paste the snippets easily. Okay, so here the our snippets are created. So I'm going to copy this all four steps. Okay, and I'm going to have it in the step definitions. So this is a place where we created a package for the step definitions. And I'm going to create a class. So this is for the search user. Right? Uh, I'm going to have this one search user steps. Okay, and I'm going to paste everything here. Okay, so this is this is not required, so I'm going to delete this, these lines. And just do the import this keywords on the from the cucumber.io.cucumber. Okay. Okay, that's it. So page implementation is done. Now the next thing is uh, we have to go for a page classes. Right, so this pages all all pages will be I mean all the step definitions will be uh, implemented in the page classes. Right, so before the page classes is done, what we have to do we have to define the hooks. Right, so hooks is nothing uh, which we can use the tag for like a before after to execute before scenario after scenario use cases. Right, so in that case uh, we can create a hooks. So hooks also I'm going to create one more package in the SRC test folder. This one, I'm going to have this hooks. Okay. So, this hooks also I have to add into my test runner, which is a recur in the group. Okay. So, now under the hooks, I'm going to create app hook class, which will help us to create the before after scenario for the, I mean, before after tag for the every scenarios. Okay. So, now here, let's do before. Um, so before that, let's uh, read the config property values. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to utils and going to create one class, which is config reader. Okay. So if we have to read the config reader. Uh, you can, so the very first thing, this is a property file. I'm going to create a class here properties and I'm going to have the variable as prop. Okay. So after this, I'm going to have one method here. This property is, I mean, this method is going to return the properties value. So initialize. So inside this, uh, we have this top keyword. I'm going to create the object for this. Okay. We are going to read the file, so property file. So here we have to tell where is our property file location. So this is where our property file location. I'm going to copy this location. So that is coming from the SRC test. RC test resources. Okay. Now I'm going to import this. And this one name statement, return statement, and adding the return statement. Okay. After this, uh, we have to load this file. So file input stream. Then property dot. Okay, 
So now this method is going to read all the values that is coming from the property file and it is going to return as a top value here and this will be stored here. Okay, so this is a method to, to read our property file. So here, all your values will be read here. So I'm going to, so now right now what we have in the property file, so we have only this browser name and URL, right? So that one also I'm going to create one getter method. Get browser name. Okay, so in this method, I'm going to have this browser name. Top dot get property of so the browser name property name is browser name okay so this is going to return the whatever the browser name that we have defined in the property file it is going to return so whenever i want to get the browser name i can simply call this method so similarly i'm going to get the url also so i'm going to have this so get url so this is also i'm going to rename as url and this is UR. Okay, this is a value that we have given in the property file. You can see this is a URL. Okay. So now whenever you want a URL, you can simply call this method. And whenever you want a browser name, you can simply call this method. So now the config property reading is done. So now what we can do now, we can go to the hooks. Okay. In the hooks, uh, we can use before tag. So in the before, uh, So this is one method. I'm going to use this for reading the property value. I'm going to have this order equal to zero. Okay, because this is what I want to execute first. Then I am going to have one more method before. So this one, I'm going to have the order value as one. So here I'm going to do the browser declarations. I mean, driver startup, everything. This is one more method. So here we want to read the property value. So because whenever you run the scenario, the first thing it will it will Cucumber will directly come to this before tag. We want to know which browser we have given and what URL also we have given. Right? So I'm going to read this. For that, I'm going to create the object config reader. Okay. So just do the import. So here, again, this config reader. Okay. So after this, we want to initialize the properties values. So here you can see this config reader method has this initialize property method, right? So just call that method to initialize that method to be executed. Initialize properties. So this one is done. So now just add the throw declarations, that's it. So now this method, as soon as before tag runs, so this will be executed. So it means your method will be executed. So all the values will be stored in the property, right? So now here also, I'm going to have this properties uh, value. So just copy this and have it here. And I'm going to store all the properties values in this prop. Why? Because we want to use this uh, property value in the browser launch everything. Okay. So here uh, in the launch browser. Okay. When it is come to launch browser, before that we will have one more uh, package created for the driver factory. So I'm going to create one more package. So this is called driver factory. Okay, inside this driver factory only, we are going to define all the driver related activities because we don't want to maintain in the hooks. Uh, because every scenario when you run this online, right, parallel case and all, that might get impact. So that's the reason we are going to separate, I mean, to have this uh, driver class in the driver factory package itself. Okay, driver factory. So inside this driver factory, we are going to define all the driver. 
create a variable. Okay. So, and we are going to use, when you want to use parallel, it is better to have as a thread local driver. So, thread local and So this is okay. now I'm going to create one method public web driver initialize browser. So in the initialize browser, we will add the return statement as a well, right. Okay. So, so here I want to see if I'm going to have one parameter here, so which is a browser name. So based on the browser name, I have to launch my driver. If the browser name uh, equal ignore keys, if it is Chrome then I have to launch the Chrome driver. So similarly, you can have for the edge also. So here, a T driver dot set new Chrome driver. Okay. So now this is a written method. Uh, we have to, uh, so we are, we are generating a driver here and I'm going to create one more get method. In the get driver, the return method is t driver dot get. Okay. We are going to return the driver that we are creating here. So that instance will be stored in this particular method. So whenever you want to get the, the same driver instance, you can simply call this method. Okay. So that's the reason we are putting in the separate method as a get driver. So now here we have to add the return statement as a get driver. So now this is done. So our driver factory is done. Similarly, you can have for uh, any any other browser, like if you want to run Edge or Firefox, anything you can have like this. Okay. So in the config reader, I mean in the app hooks. So this is for the property reader is done. So now here is the place where we have to read our browser and we have to launch the browser. Okay. So now um, first thing we have to get the browser name. So string browser name. So that browser name is already we have read, uh, which is uh, config reader dot get browser name. Okay. So this will give you the right browser name. So now again, we are going to get the driver from the driver factory. I'm copying this to create the object box. Driver factory, just do the import this. Driver factory. Object is created. So now by using this driver factory, you can get the initialized browser. Okay. So this browser name, browser name that is we are reading it from the property file and passing as a parameter. So now if you go to inside this, this browser will stop. Okay. So after this, I want to launch my browser. Right. So before that, you want to get the driver, right? So the driver instance because we want to type here like a driver dot get, right? So this is the place we are going to launch the URL. So for that, we have to get the driver instance from our driver factory, right? So this is a driver factory we are getting the driver instance. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create one local web driver, driver variable. So in this particular driver, I have to assign it, whatever the driver it is, I'm getting created in the after this line. Okay, so I'm going to get the driver from driver factory. Okay, 
So when you when you use this, so this initialized browser, it is going to return this get driver. So that driver, I'm going to assign it this particular local variable which I have created. Okay. So now in the driver dot get, what I can do, I can use a config reader dot get URL. So now this URL is going to come from my config reader, which will have the value of that is getting readed from the property file. Okay. So now let's go back here. So this is done. So now if you want to add like a driver dot manage dot window dot maximize or any other common steps that you want to use, driver dot manage timeouts dot implicit weight or anything if you want to put, you can use the common half seconds like a 10. Okay, this 10 and all you can have it as a constant in some other file or you can manage to the property file also. Okay, anything is fine. So after this, we are going to have the after tag to close our browser. So driver dot quit. Okay. So just import this after from Cucumber dot Okay. Now this is done. Uh, we have done the outputs driver factory. So now we have to go to the steps. Okay, these are the steps. We have to implement, I mean, uh, we have uh, just copy pasted these snippets. So now we have to create the page layer. Okay, so page classes. So this is for, the first page is, we are going to use the login, right? We have to do the login. So I'm going to create the name called login page. Okay, so in the login page, first thing uh, we are going to use the page factory design. So let's go to the particular browser. We'll do the logout. We have to identify the locators. Right? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one constructor. So in the page class constructor. So in this page also, we have to bring our driver instance, right? Because this is the this is where we are going to use the at the rate find by, right? So at the rate find by is the mechanism. Again, it is going to use the inside the mechanism is nothing. Driver dot find other. Okay. So here also we are going to use this. Uh, I mean, we are going to get the driver from our our driver factory, which is our page class. I mean, uh, which is coming from our hooks file. Right? So here we have to implement the page factory. Okay, so this is a place. We are going to get the driver. Okay. So driver. Okay. So after this, um, so let's go to the page class. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, step definitions. In this step definitions, okay. The first step it is we are going to log in, correct? So that's why this login page is coming. So what I'm going to know, I'm going to get the driver instance uh, from the page. I mean step definition. So here I'm going to create one object. Sorry, um, parameter for the web driver. So I'm going to get this driver, and I'm going to assign it to this particular page. So now we are getting this driver from the page class. I will tell you when we go to the page. I mean, when we go to the step definition, we are getting this this particular instance driver instance from the step definition. Then I'm passing it across to this particular page class. So mm -hmm. that's the reason we are doing this assignment. So this assignment is nothing. So this driver is pointing to our local uh, class level variable. So this driver it is going to come from the step definition. That is, I'm getting assigned to this particular driver. Okay. So after this, um, we have to create the. I mean, we have to locate the elements. So find by Mechanism and name equal to so quickly locate these values. A web element user name box. Okay, so similarly, we have to find out things for 
password as well as the button. Okay. For password, yeah, we can use the name. And this is password box. After that, we have login button. So login button, uh, we can use export or we can use CSS selectors. Login button. Okay. So now we are going to create a method. So first thing we have to do the login. Login to so first thing we are going to type the username start sentries and the password start sentries and we are going to click the login button start click. So now we have to pass the username password. That username password we have defined as a data table that is coming uh, through our step definition. So in the step definition, you can see something called data table, right? So the same data table variable, we are going to pass it to the relevant page class here, okay? So from here, I'm going to read all the data table values that is coming from the feature file, okay? So list, I'm going to read as a list map. If you not sure how to do this, I have created already video in this uh, particular series, Cucumber series, you can go on check this. I'm going to read this as map string string. Okay, this is map data equal to data table dot as maps. Okay. And we are going to read those values as a string. So I'm going to have it as a string class from our string dot class. Okay, so now all the values that is coming from a part of uh, data table, it will be there. And it will be stored under the map called, I mean, map, map variable called map data. So now I have to use this map value to, uh, to enter all these values, I mean, username, password, right? I'm going to create one for loop. Map string from the string. Data. I'm passing this map there. Okay. So now I'm simply going to copy these two lines and have it inside the for loop. So here I'm going to use the map data that I'm reading from the for loop. Map data dot the gate. So the user key is nothing. I mean, uh, you can see here we are using yes, a user name. Let's have this as a username. And here also it's going to be a same. Instead of username, it is going to be a password. Okay. So now when you do this, so it will read the values that is coming from the data table. It will enter the username password. After that, it is going to click on the login button. So now we have created the page class. So now let's go to the step definition. So in the step definition, what we have to do, we have to call this particular method, right? So for that, what we have to do, we have to create the object, login page, login page. Let's do the import. Okay. So with this login page, we are going to create the object. So here we are going to pass the driver instance. Okay. So now this driver instance, right? So when I go to this login page, this page is my constructor for the login page. Okay. So here it is pointing here, right? So now I have to get the driver instance that I have created in the driver factory. I have to pass the same instance of the driver to my page class also to find the all the locations. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, uh, you just directly call the driver factory. 
driver factory dot get okay so if it is not coming i think web driver driver factory this method is okay Now, if you go here, if you simply type this get driver, so we are going to get the driver instance in the step definition. Okay. So now what we can do, we can simply call this login page dot login to application. Okay. So this data table is going to coming from the feature file. The feature file values also will be passed to our method. So now let's run this case. So let's go to the runner. Let's see, this is working fine now. Yeah, it is working fine. Okay, there are no failures. So we were able to launch application and we are able to log in successfully. So now let me tell you in the debugger mode how this is running. Okay, as soon as we run this, so it, it is going to the feature file. So from the feature file, it is going to our very first step, step definition. This is our first step definition, right? I'm giving the debugger pointer here. This is our starting point, right? So before even, even if it is coming to here, what happens? It will go to our hooks, right? So it will come here, which is line number 24. Now I'm going to run in the debugger mode. So as soon as the code execution started, so it is going to come and stop in the line number 24, which is our hooks file. You can see it, it came here and it did get stopped. So now we have created this object. So initialize property is nothing. This is config read properties, right? So it is going to come here. So I'm going to give a pointer here. When I click on continue, you can see it is coming here and it is going to read the property values one by one. I mean, all the properties value that we have given in the config.properties file, okay? So when this loaded, now you can see if you just mouse over on this prop value. So these are the values that is coming from the properties. Okay. All the values will be stored here. Since this value will be stored as a class level variable. So what I'm doing now, so now let's the a point here and, and here as well. So I'm just clicking on the continue. Okay. Now it is coming here. Right. So why it is coming here in the sense? So it got executed line number 30 in the step properties. I mean, in the, in the before hook. And it is gone, uh, and it, it came here, just step over. Okay, you can see now the browser name has stored as a Chrome, right? So now it is going to the initialize the browser, which is our coming from the driver factory. I'm going to give that debugger pointer here as well. So when it is come here, you can see here. So now the browser name also coming as a Chrome. It, has, it is going to start the browser now. Okay, so this is how the process will start. When you use the Cucumber file, I mean, Cucumber as a hook scenarios. I mean, without hook also, you can manage your driver, but uh, we have something default one, which is so uh, hooks is available, which is coming out of the Cucumber feature, you can use them. Okay. So now again, uh, I think it has gone to the URL reading part. So where it is in the step definition, log into application. I think it's a hooks only. Okay. So I think it came here, which is driver dot get. Okay, that's the reason it, it, it came and stopped here. So let me click on the continue. So now we can see the URL is passed. And it, it is it is going to enter the username and it, it stopped here in the Eclipse. So let me open here, you can see. Now I do the step over and let me go to the application. So when I click on continue, it is coming here. So minimize this thing. I'm just doing the step over. It is going to enter the username now. You can see the username entered under, and it is going to enter the password. And it is coming to the login button, and it is going to click on the login. Okay, so it got entered when I click on continue. So the test case is ended. Okay. So now this is how, I mean, it will start. The moment when you start running your runner class, so by default, it will come to the hooks. So what are the hooks that you have given? The first before method we have used to read the 
our property files, right? So this initiate property file, it is coming from the config.reader. So all the property values will be read here and it will be stored in the variable called prop. Okay. By using that prop value, we are going to read the browser name and URL, everything. So when it has come to the before, the second the before tag, it is going to read the browser name and it is going to start the driver factory. We are we are starting the driver in the initialized browser method here, which is coming from again driver factory. So this is going to create the driver, which is we have used as a thread local for parallel purpose. So we are creating the driver and we are we are storing that variable called get driver. Okay, this is a method that we have stored the driver to return this particular driver is being created in the driver factory. So that is what we are assigning to this particular local variable here. Okay. So because we are we are going to use the driver dot get driver dot manage other drivers. So this driver instance ID. So we are getting it from the driver factory which we created, and we are assigning this driver into our local variable. Okay. And after tag, it is driver dot create. So now once the hook is started, now it will come to the step definitions. So in the step definitions, what we have given, the first one is for the login, right? So for login method, we have created one login page. So this method has to execute it, this login page. So for that reason, what we have done, we have created the page class. I mean, for this particular page, we have created an object. So inside this, we are going to pass the driver instance. Okay, this again, this find by also going to work as a mechanism driver dot find by. So we have to pass the driver instance here as well. So that driver instance, I'm getting it from the driver factor directly. Okay, so here is the driver factor. This get method is going to store my driver instance. So I'm passing it here. So it's a part of uh, constructor uh, argument. So now getting this driver instance that is coming from the driver factory, I'm getting assigned to the local variable called here web driver. Okay. So this driver will have the instance that is coming from my step definition, which is started in the driver factory. It is going to supply the driver instance across these pages. Okay. And after this execution is done, it will come to the again hooks, which will close the browser. Okay. So this is how the project will execute. So I mean, after this, uh, you can add your report. Uh, by going to the test runner, you can add the reporting plugins, everything you can add. Okay. So this is how the project works. The, I mean, uh, on the high level, uh, this is how the Cucumber skeleton, I mean, uh, particular project, we have created a config.property file and we have read this uh, hooks and we have used the driver factory page classes. For report, I have already created video. Maybe you can watch those playlists, how to create the report for the our Cucumber project. Okay. So. Yeah, I think this this will be helpful. Uh, you can again, uh, you can again. So we have uh, this pages also. You can navigate to this one, and we can validate. We can implement those steps also, and you can create the respective pages. For example, when you go to admin page, you have to create one more page class called admin page. Okay, the steps are going to remain the main as the same because we have already steps are defined here, right? So here you have to create one more page class for for going to the admin page, and you can have this the same similar setup again. You have to repeat it. Okay. So that's all about video. Uh, if you need more details, please do the comment section. Uh, drop your comments in the comment section. We will try to address those comments. Okay. Thank you very much.